in the YDSC experiment, the separation between the slits, that is the value of small d, is given as 1 mm, and the wavelength of the light used is 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters, and the distance of the screen from the slit, that is the value of capital D, is 1 meter. We had to calculate the distance of the center of the first minima from the center of the central maxima. Alright, now first of all, we will calculate the fringe width. The reason why we are finding this fringe width will be came to you know later on. So, this is beta is equal to lambda d by small d, that is the formula of the fringe width. So, beta is comes out to be 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 into capital D by small d. So, fringe width comes out to be 0.5 mm. Alright, now I'll tell you the reason why I found out the fringe width. Now let's say this is my screen. Alright, I do have the two slits. So there will be a constructive interference at the center. Agreed. And it will be, the graph will be something like this. Alright. So this is the central maxima that is at the center at point O and central minima will be at a point A I mean the first minima that will exist will be at a point A and at a point B and the total length AB is my fringe width so what I have to calculate is the distance of the center of the first minima from the center of central maxima this is my center of the central maxima and this is the center of the first minima I have to calculate the distance OA so clearly OA will be equal to OB so I can write 2 times of OA is equal to AB so the value of OA comes out to be 0.5 by 2 that is 0.25 mm that is the answer because that is the distance between the first cent first minima to that of the central minima fine in the second part I have to calculate the bright fringes the number of bright fringes that will be formed in 1 cm width on the screen so I do have a total length of 1 cm I know the fringe width as 0.5 mm so I'll simply calculate the total number of fringes that will be available to me in 1 cm 1 cm or I can say 10 mm it is 0.5 it comes out to be 20 